Honorable Dr. Clement Apak, AMP for Busa South, Deputy Ranking Member, Education Committee, Yenin and Chuchi and Komo. Honorable Mimwachi. Honorable Good Money. I say say your Facebook and YouTube live. Eh, so, eh, now, uh, so, uh, 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 School a dino, minimum pressure said this it's yet. Bebre knew a boo boo, ya did ya, and now so ya pavilions. Make us a rolling star near a pavilion, so near the idea. And Quaran, Bebu Alqua, and Quenyan Hot, Bebu Alquana, a yitas and Quarana, at the form and the Sunya de Squat had in hot and Pabuani hot, just a blackboard of power who ni Pabadi Sunya de, and yet Ubu Alquana, Nima, me fear Quenyan wa faba, a dose who are buying schools, Bebri. And a pay, let me dim Kumubi say. Okay, any national dialogue. Near Vesabia, Vat, the Koran, near the one percent, you better swore. Near a pool of money. Near the best solver, sa problem, you are, see honor, a bed was sunset. Sassian in ya, a son of Sunday. Yang yan a national issue. Because we are young, Miss Alcan say. Free senior high, we are now overwhelmed. One, with number of a nipper, a cobby. Two, near my woodwa. Essence yenya three sikesi di uremu na yenti mi segregate ni se ni pebi wawa wamu diye so we baby kwa wamu free bana wama wufu beti mi etuya kwa kwa la ni biyo free the so called preparatory international schools in eba sikana ni na wufu etuya impo bra no ko junior high ni njeska kitoa inti wabeti mi afeno ni ni safu ni free na yangu high yeny ni biya sikana kwa yenye bi inkofumu enkwa 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 yiko so ko U.S. nomne Canada nomne Europe nomne adi adi even health insurance kwaana waketi ya kusura ya ribi wa na wamu yu efriso si because you can afford to pay enkomai mami vanza si oho esa yo kwa mpa chome da si bebe sana semu ya webi semi idi udi bisha but ukwe mupa adi na ngawa se abamu peni mfuano. Uh, titu Minister for Education Nanka Udi Tunenua Na Wa Chichu The India American is an answer Sam Komui Menue Dia and Yen Mema Menoku NBC Yaka Hun Sama, the Ekos Wa Tochima Ewa Yadis Yahun Samunu Yaka Kaka 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 and it's a obedience. Ah, but what this idea? I was saying, so many idea. Me change my dream. I define. What can you create? So, additional. Every story you can see, the engineer is paying on. Hello. I cut in. Meet you. Mese se yangu na nebeti mi ya sini ya diye, akuwe bwini, na daache omonso umaiti mi ya sari, aye nipa kukudam, awe yuyasi, se diye, ubiya epu ya kwenye ni muna, na ejina disi ya ho, eno so ne ejina foundation no ho, te foundation no ene deni, uwe ni baka se, e fi, keji, Keji, very important. Because we say school be a what Ghana, primary school be a what Keji. Because we say in person be a what Nipa. Ah, we only do five thousand. And we say in common what Keji. Because early childhood education, no research in Ghana actually say a whole is free. But we know can say that is not the case. So, Osha Ghana High, where there were several primary schools, I want to cages in the hall. 
There were several communities across the country, especially uh, yeah, the free rural communities, you know. Uh, as a result of distance, the school numpo ewa wa the dia communities no ewa no. So I kora we di be two three years. Na ka niho na bicycle kwa wo fo ni nibi se won betimi etna ko the nearest school a okay you know in you see the issue of even kindergartens in in Ghana no it's a challenge in any case you know baby i hope him for no types of teachers na ye you am say won mo chira kedi for na dia no they tend to be those who are not even specialized in early childhood education oh Hmm. And a very strange is, you know, we rather allow untrained persons who have not even been trained as trained teachers. Some hey, of them, hey, quote hey, unquote, people teachers, hey, to no, teach at the KG level. Honorable. Yes. As I said, the education sector, no, the Department of Pedagogy, eh, Oh, yes. It is long overdue. Because <laughs> <laughs> are assigned to the lower levels of education. They have specialized institutions and they have specialized universities. And in our context, you know, like I said, teacher training colleges devoted to early childhood education. Hmm. But we are not doing that. We are doing the opposite. We are rather putting the unprofessionals at the base. Hmm. When it's oh. we should be putting the top and the best at the base. Because the base, you know, Hey, yeah, solid. No foundation, no. Then it makes it easier for the uh, superstructure to be built on the base. We are not doing that. And see, it is true that Samenkwa Bia, we should be looking at a national forum to take another look at our educational system. Generally. Because trend in our corner, I think a Mm. That's also even the basic school system now, not just the KG, even primary schools, you know. Do you want to know what you can The structures, you know, are very weak. Even mm. We even have examples where school structures have collapsed. I'm going to cry. I'm sure I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. You see, in fact, it, it, is, it is a very sad reflection of our national priorities. But at the same time, too, no, the educational sector takes a chunk of our budget. But the truth is that most of that amount you know, does not go to uh, capital expenditure. It goes to uh, uh, wages okay. and salaries. Okay. So we need to seven. look at increasing our budget in, in the area of education, specifically to take care of the physical infrastructural needs. Because I don't know nothing to do with I won't say that your schools and the trees, mom. But is that the best we can do for the future of this nation? Now, I answer the question. You may call the next topic soon. My proposal be say. Say on my new year national forum, one of the issues you bet me discuss and say, and you bet me your funding. Medium Susan say, Bianca found we get one percent to so near the VAT one percent to so no. A bet me a boa pao. Oh, Nasa and Ono Yinano would have to be part of the topics to be looked at at the national forum. But if you come in. Whether you like it or not, elections have consequences. Leadership must be held accountable. Once uh, you say, Una, we 
ti akonya na so a yesika nyina abedi wonsem no eh o ma ma no so no yene yene da oso se ye hi asem no wodi yesika no ebe kwere kwere ama ye and that is why as we are speaking some of us have raised concern time and again that all attention has gone to the implementation of the Christian school policy mm -hmm. to the detriment of basic education mm -hmm. that, do you know that we have over 6 million young children in the basic school sector compared to the about okay, uh, 2 you. 2 million in the secondary sector but uh, there was 6 million a uh, in excess of six million, yes. In excess of six million, yes. Oh, the basic schools, you know. Yes, compared to a secondary school, naturally so because the base of every pyramid, you no, know, it's always broader. It's always broader, yeah. But the uh, ocean budget, budgetary allocations, you now. Now, ocean the aqua basic compared to the aqua secondary. Now, what's the six numbers, you now? You you can see that the basic sector, by and large, is not receiving. A proportional share of the allocation and are we setting our priorities right well if you ask me we are not almost at every level of the educational system no we we have gotten it wrong and let's let's put politics aside aside we have talked about the issue of kindergartens and and the the lack of enough kindergartens we have talked about the issue of fiscal structures and their unavailability we have talked about dilapidated uh, fiscal infrastructure. We have talked about teachers and the fact that Udwana, they don't like taking postings to the rural areas where they are most needed. We have talked about inadequate furniture. But we must also talk about the lack of textbooks. Minu Kasi, Shaun Nimse, or they say, new curriculum, a buyer. Every two years. Are you aware that our basic schools have not yet been supplied with textbooks produced on the basis of the new curriculum as we speak? Hmm. I mean, are we satisfied with this? Hey. Is that the best we can do? Hey. Senior high. Okay. Now we are overwhelmed with the number of uh, uh, Nipa Wamwa and Ro. There be me in America. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I see it as such. Now, the mean when you say, Nan say, Kwanwa, you can't say, and Kwanan and Kofie, one month now, one month, first week of May. No, Uber Titi Muna Neska. But even the lack of fiscal space is a bad product of lack of funding. Next day, it is a question. Maybe say you will be to say on our doctor Clementa Park. Oh, bet me a tree, I me bet me a tree, I me produce Isaac. Oh, we see Cassa on Jimmy. Eh, 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 uh, the relief of paying for other microphone or almost intimate fear suggesting that uh, financially a beer a buy a beer let me use the word a beer a buy a constraint oh hey come on you can say the minimum i say uh since uh junior high schools i uh, get part of uh, uh basic you know uh the American car, you know, it, it, it also includes that. But only say uh as of now, no, within the current dispensation, even in senior high schools, you know, 
by definition, they, they are now part of uh, basic education. Uh, by definition, case, yeah. Mm -hmm. In any case, you know, let, let's be more specific to the issues that you have raised. But the credit help back up the The campaign I have been in now for the past three elections, maybe this uh, the issue of senior high schools, you know, now a very central. And uh, 2016, uh, Ghana for a they will make senior high school education free. And the one by Omosha we were starting it. In a gradual process. See the bear, we will be able to put, put in place the requisite infrastructure, and we started. We had also taken out, I think, about 11 key elements from the perspectives of uh, students as part of that process. We had also commenced the construction of uh, the e blocks, and we had also started expanding existing senior high schools as part of that process. But they didn't go at it the way they had said in their campaign. And to those who were in third and second year when they, they took over the reins of governance, 2017, they didn't benefit from the free senior high school as we were made to believe. And yet, one more That is to say, those who entered first year, year one, in 2017, no, they were the, the first batch to have benefited from this uh, program. Almost as you know, we saw the challenges because we anticipated those challenges. The issue of lack of accommodation, you know, not to want to take a block, so a bit to take one thing, one more chop box, and then the numbers were much bigger than the spaces could handle. It as a stopgap measure, no. The government introduced the double track system. Double track no I buy no. The Swiss and so we are still grappling with it. Say I'm gonna be back out next year, more than film the whole school. Now no one need be boko. Now my one need be new saying is I need a track at home. Now teacher for now you overburdened. But the even I'm saying no. It is even beyond a double track system of Kwame. So, I can only call on the now, GES, any ministry. One more revisor, revisor now. That in itself should, should give you and Ghanaians an education. Say, in Korea, because all the kinds of work will be a school, a uh, third year for who be a mom, mom, mom. Now, a day before they start now, one son also said, one more son got nothing to see me. But no, it's here, it's hard to buy something now, but to hold. The let me borrow a chain and say, Bonsu, face out or tell a user so no didn't come out. I get busy, Bassa. I get busy, Bassa. And on a block, and on a block, we have confusion. I have Bassa. That is it. Erratic, haphazard, confusing. And Quran, I am confused. I will find you confused. I said, Tell Fona, you're confused. I mean, how do you run an educational system like that? And you know, the issues are many. And the truth is that there are two main factors driving the continuous presence of the double track system, this erratic, haphazard, confusing academic calendar. One is the lack of fiscal space because I'm Quran Adoso. Abana Muaka, 
Omo mo school as as a president no. They are they are slightly above one point two million. Problem is here, see no. First two cohorts, you know, they were just about eight hundred thousand. Now we are talking about the next of one point two million. At the same time, you know, we have not expanded infrastructure. Abana Aka in the in the current budget. So on one initiative one thousand one hundred and nineteen infrastructure projects between twenty seventeen and present. As of the twenty twenty budget now by uh you think I uh it won't come out debate I pass here no. On one thing, only five hundred and thirty nine have been completed. At every point in time, you know, the fiscal space we have cannot take more than eight hundred thousand students. And here we are with over one point two million. So can you tell me? Why wouldn't we have a double track? Why wouldn't we have a, a multiple track system? Because the fiscal space is, is not there. But why is the fiscal space not why is it not there? Because we have refused to invest in it. We know can say one point five billion I think that's one could see our here. We know that eight hundred million dollars of that money is still at the Ministry of Finance. A black contractor contractor say hey Juma almost thirty case ever home. Anka was the three of can no mutual the rest of the one thousand one hundred and nineteen uh projects, you know. She can be on some now more a boy for you. And I say it's more why are we subjecting our own wars to this type of situation? Okay. Mm. So if the money is there, utilize it. If the money is not there, let Ghanaians know that we no longer have enough resources to ensure the smooth running of our secondary school system. And therefore, we want parents to contribute. Oh, I explore other avenues to raise resources. Okay. To keep the system running. Okay. But I will come my interview. Now, okay, I will phone on the phone. They can go to the schools and pick the headmaster. Is that policy? And Have they, you put in place any mechanism? They in their own volition will not never volunteer to go and pay. Ah, voila, because I'm going to say you're free. Most of the people are paying. Me, when I said, I will follow up. They are paying. They are even buying electric uh, textbooks for their wars. School uniform, to look at Amazon, the supply. I will follow up. I talk. Books, you know, I will follow up. I talk. If you don't know, I don't know. 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 We know all of these things, but don't take it from me. Call any parent, oh, are you? call any school teacher, mm. any master to speak to you in confidence. They will tell you what is going on. And go in there. Mm. It is are you? No. attempt to try and let it look nice on the outside. When it's back on the inside, it is breathing my gosh, you know. Mm. No. And what I'm it is not going to help us. No. It is me quite here. Mm -hmm. If government wants to be sincere, government ought to take up the proposal made by His Excellency, the former president. Institute a national forum. Let's dialogue. And let's look at how best we can address the challenges currently facing our secondary school system. So here. And they can even begin by reinstating the position of PTAs. I must say PTAs. It should be voluntary. PTA projects are all campuses. No, they, be, they have all come to a halt. But everybody knows the role that PTAs have played in enhancing teaching and learning. Reinstate them. Let them play a role. You know, because in many of the elite grade A schools, you know, the PTAs are active. Parents are contributing because some of them say, they are doing it. If it is not official, it is happening. So why are we pretending? I mean, let's be honest and genuine to ourselves. Okay. And the honorable madam said, "Now, come on, dear minister, I feel you are sharing such discussions. It is your best approach. You are not yet to us, which is, madam, sir, pa."
Amen. Honorable Dr. Clementa Park, MP for Busa South, Deputy Ranking Member, Education Committee, and the NIQ in Okay, FM, okay. 101.7.